Hi everyone, I'm Derek, an intern at CoreOS, and I'm here to show you how to get started with Rocket. Rocket is a container runtime for Linux that we've been working on for a little over a year now, and we recently released version 1.0. Rocket is available in the alpha channel of CoreOS, Gentoo, Fedora Rawhide, Your Chooser Repository, and Nix. If Rocket is not currently packaged for your system, the easiest way to get it will be to download it from our GitHub page. Just go to github.com slash coreos slash rocket and click on the releases button to look at the latest releases. I'm currently inside of a virtual machine and if we go ahead and cat etsy os release you'll see that this is a coreos vm and I'm currently on the alpha channel which you can see if I just cat etsy coreos uh, update.conf uh, we're in the alpha group and as such I just have rocket available on my path. Rocket is an implementation of the app container or app C spec, and this means that it runs app container images or ACKIs. Quay, which is a registry made by CoreOS, uh, already hosts ACKIs, so let's use that to download and run an Alpine Linux container. So if we just run sudo rocket run quay.io slash coreOS slash alpine dash sh, I'm going to make this interactive. Rocket will go out, uh, download the image and a signature for it, verify it, and then drops into the container. So if we just take a look here, we'll see that uh, we don't have very many processes here, unlike what you would see just on a normal like Linux machine. And you know we can just run you know Alpine's package manager and do whatever we want inside this container. And just press Control D to exit out of it. Rocket is also able to run Docker images directly. It does this by downloading the Docker image and then converting it locally into an ACKI before running it. So if we just go back to the previous command that we ran and replace the image name with docker colon slash slash alpine, uh, Rocket should go out and fetch this from the Docker Hub instead of from Quay. However, not all images on the Docker Hub have signatures, so we're going to tell Rocket to skip image verification. We do this by passing the flag insecure options equals image. The alpine image on the Docker Hub also doesn't specify an exec command, so we're just going to tell it to run bin sh inside of the container. So if we do this, we'll see uh, Rocket go through the download process and then immediately drops this inside the container. And as you can see, this is pretty much the same thing we had going out before. It was just fetched from a different place. And if you'd like more information, feel free to look at the documentation at coreos.com or on our GitHub page, which again is github.com slash coreos slash rocket. And feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or anything you'd like to say. Uh, we're available at the CoreOS channel on Freenode and also through the Rocket Dev mailing list. Thanks for watching.